Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lucy Payne Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and I'm going to do a quick little video today for October 10th, the 10th day of Vito and the 10th day of Cozyathon. I'm pre-filming this uh, a day in advance so I can't give you a Cozyathon update until tomorrow because I have not done the uh, 9th and 10th Cozyathon challenges at the point that I'm filming but I will catch you up tomorrow. So the uh, tag that I want to do today is the Pass It On tag and I was tagged by Kat from Kat's Bookend and this video was created or this tag was created by the Bald Book Geek. So I will of course put both of their channels down below. Alright, there's just three questions and the idea is to take three books that you've read and recommend them. So the first one is your favorite book that you want everyone else to read. Well, I'm going to give you my favorite book which most of you probably know if you've watched my channel for any length of time and I'm going to give you a couple of honorable mentions. So you guys know I always tell you my favorite book is A Fanny Flag, um, A Red Bird Christmas by Fanny Flag. I have to say though I was completely validated earlier today because I am listening to a book on um, audio right now called The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend and this is a book about books and our main character is setting up a little bookshop and she's getting her sections in order and all of that and uh, already I can tell that this author is a fan of Fanny Flagg because she has mentioned Fried Green Tomatoes at least twice and maybe three times prior to this. Um, but uh, I wanted to just read you one little part here. Now she's already in this two paragraphs ahead of this that I'm going to read you. She's talking about Fried Green Tomatoes. Uh, she's going to put that book under Small Town Life. And so she's setting up her different sections and she says for Christmas she would bring in copies of Fanny Flagg's less ambitious A Red Bird Christmas, possibly the ultimate Christmas present. A story so charming that it could even be given away and enjoyed at midsummer. I'm so validated right now. I am just thrilled that this book is mentioned in this book, which I am really enjoying by the way. So I'm just excited that um, that it's in there. My favorite book got mentioned in this book, so it's awesome. Now I want to give you a couple of honorable mentions because my very favorite series of all times is the Mitford series. So I got to show you the first book at home in Mitford. This is definitely one that I adore and I would highly recommend it to anyone. And then, um, what's the other one? Oh, and the Miss Julia series. My second favorite series. And now I don't have the first book because I'm always giving it away. I can never keep a copy because it's almost as soon as I get a copy of the first book, I give it away just to get people started. Uh, this I think is the second or third one. Maybe fourth. No, this is the I don't even know. I get them all mixed up. Um, but the Mysterious series by Anne B. Ross is so cute. So light and fun and fantastic. I love it and I highly recommend it. So those are my, you know, favorite books that I would recommend. If you can hear Bob in the background, he is barking at something. All right, a book that would make the world a better place if everyone read it. Well, I think that this book, this question was made for this book. The Summer I Saved the World in 65 Days by Michelle Weber Hurwitz is so great. In fact, when I read this back in, I think, February, I said... I think if everyone read this book, we would achieve world peace. I mean, it's just fantastic. It's about a girl who decides that she's going to do good things for her neighborhood and she's going to do them anonymously. And it's just wonderful. So I love that and I highly recommend it. In fact, I have recommended it to several booktubers and they've read it and I have not seen anyone give it less than five stars that have read it. So it's, it's great. Then the last one is a book you would recommend to new readers. And I take that to mean young readers. And I have read, recommended this to middle schoolers a lot. When I'm subbing and we start talking about books, I usually always bring up Hatchet if somebody doesn't bring it up before me. Hatchet is a fantastic survival story about a boy who is going to visit his father. He's in a small plane. It's only him and the pilot and they are flying over the Canadian wilderness and the pilot has a heart attack and dies. And so Brian has to 
try to fly the plane and land it and and survive and it's just it's a fantastic book so even if you're an adult if you've never read this I would recommend it it's got at least three or four other books in the series and this first one and really all of them are just really really good so those are my recommendations for the pass it on tag and I would like to tag a few other people uh, two of the lovely ladies who have tagged me recently Ambicraft Reads that's Amber and then Shannon of Shannon Riddler. I would like to tag both of them. And then my friends Elizabeth Tyree and Acost from Acost of a K. I would like to tag you guys too. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.